People v. James Crumbly, case number 22279-989-FH. Thank you. Good morning. Mark East on behalf of the people. Karen McDonald on behalf of the people. Good morning, Your Honor. Marielle Lehman on behalf of James Crumbly, who is standing to my left. swear or affirm the testimony you have to give as a police to help you back. I do. Okay, please step up and have a seat. Now, what was your expectations of what was to happen at the end of that meeting? My hope was that they were going to take him and either take him to get help or even just to take him to let's have a good day. Let's have a, let's have a day where we just spend time with you, where we are with you. To take him out of school. Yeah. Did you believe that he could be left alone at that point? I didn't want him left alone. Um, I didn't want to make that decision that he was okay to be left alone. So that's why I stayed with him for as long as I did until I had parents there. Okay, so you sent this to, to the, the student's mother? Yes. Okay. And did you have a chance to look at this? I did look at it. Um, most of it confirmed what I thought was under the... You work for the Oxford School District. Uh, I have been employed for the Oxford School District. I am currently on leave at this moment. Now, I'd like to direct your attention to scheduling, but when it came to social-emotional, that was more of an as-needed basis. Did your role as a counselor involve... He understood, like, I can see why this looks bad. I'm not going to do anything. Okay. So... Although you had concerns, you also had the student in front of you reassuring you that he was not going to hurt himself or anyone else. Based on what he told me, yes. 